All right, week nine college football breakdown. A lot to get to here in this matchup. You got Ole Miss traveling to Aggieland, to Kyle Field, taking on Texas A&M. Ole Miss a two-point road favorite in this spot uh, and a dead standard total at 54 and a half. There's a lot to get to in this game. Let's start with Texas A&M. It's been a terrible season, but specifically a terrible week for the Aggies. Multiple true freshmen from their historic 2022 class suspended for some pretty shady stuff uh, going on in the locker room. Not only that, from a football standpoint, three offensive linemen, Jimbo Fisher, ruled out for the season. So on the surface, it would appear that things are kind of crumbling in College Station. You know, I think it's a little bit overblown as far as how it affects this specific team. If you want to talk about the overall cultural issues and maybe the future of you know Jimbo's recruiting approach, that's another conversation. I, uh, you know, the offensive lineman is really the, the more important part of this matchup. I don't really think Denver Harris, a true freshman rotation corner, is going to really impact how this game plays out. Ole Miss is not a team I want to bet on right now. You know, they really disappointed me last week. I bet on them at LSU. Uh, they were really crumbled in the second half. This is a defense that I really thought had taken that next step forward this season. Uh, and we saw that when competition was weaker. Um, it, it hasn't held true these last two games. You know, they played Auburn a few weeks ago. Auburn hadn't been able to run the ball on anybody and create explosive plays on the ground. Ran for over 300 yards on Ole Miss. You saw what LSU did in the second half last week in utter splattering. I know A&M's got three linemen down. They still got Devon A-Chain. So if they can at least get serviceable offensive line play, and just let A chain go to work. He's got track speed. He's gotten you know much more acclimated to this offense than he was earlier in the season as their lead back. I could see a world where Texas AM is able to move the ball on the ground in this game. You know, another thing we got to talk about a huge storyline too. Who's gonna play quarterback for the Aggies? They're obviously still without Max Johnson, broke his hand. Haynes King started last week, had to leave the game. In comes true freshman five-star quarterback Connor Weigman. A uh, really tough situation to walk into on the road at South Carolina. Uh, you know, put up a pretty valiant effort, but game was just kind of out of reach at that point, considering they spotted South Carolina 17 points in the first five minutes. You know, maybe Weigman is the spark they need because Haynes King is not a good football player. He wasn't a good football player last year. Hasn't been this year. A&M fans tried to hide that from us for two years. Nobody's buying it anymore. Haynes King is a lost cause, a bad football player. If, if Connor Weigman starts... I'm not downgrading this Texas A&M offense. I, I think, if anything, for the first time all year, they could finally maybe get something going through the air. By nature of not even having a year in Jimbo's system, his broken system yet, maybe those bad habits haven't formed. Maybe, maybe he's their best chance to move the ball through the air. I, I really believe that. He's got more talent than any quarterback on this roster. You know, I, I know they're still flirting with Haynes King, uh, you know, possibly playing this game. That would significantly downgrade this offense in my opinion so on the other side of the ball and just overall with Ole Miss second straight road game their offense really you know didn't show me enough consistently last week at LSU a little bit tougher matchup here you're going up against a better secondary in Texas A&M now the part of this matchup I don't like for A&M is their run defense has been pretty suspect this year consistently it's just teams have been able to establish the run and what do we know about Ole Miss with Jedkins with Zach Evans Really good run game. So maybe Jackson Dart's just able to really maybe throw 18, 20 passes in this game. Lane Kiffin's able to use that tempo, keep AM's defense off balance, and just pound the football. But you would think in this kind of game that Dart's going to have to make some throws. Dart is still a younger player. This is not a good spot for Ole Miss. I'm not sure if I want to trust him against this defense. If you haven't been able to tell, I want zero part of betting this game. We don't know who's playing quarterback for AM. It's a bad spot for Ole Miss. Maybe those issues around College Station this week do have an effect on the team. As much as I think they don't, maybe they do. You know, I'll, I'll tell you this. I really do think that the storylines around College Station this week have much more to do with maybe the overall health of AM's program and a lot less to do with how they're going to fare in this game. If anything, maybe those offensive linemen being out is just enough to keep the Aggies from winning this game. Given AM's struggles offensively this year, maybe an under would make sense. The issue with that is Ole Miss runs with a lot of pace. They kind of extend games unnecessarily. AM hasn't played a lot of teams like that this year. I mean, I guess Mississippi State and Arkansas, the Mississippi State went flying over the total. So I would stay as far away from this game as a better as possible. You see this shirt, Halloween's coming up. We got the Halloween theme. Head over to proud90.com, unique but very comfortable polos as well. With the colder weather coming, also got a great selection of hoodies and quarter zips. Proud 90 has got all your golf apparel needs. 
If it's anything you like at proud90.com, use code Fordham at checkout. It's going to get you 15% off your entire order. Code Fordham at checkout is going to get you 15% off your order. Support me, support Proud90. The rest of the information will be in the description below.